How's it going ladies and gentlemen? Let's clean some muzzle devices today. I have a muzzle brake, flash hider, compensator. You might have wondered, how often are you supposed to clean your muzzle device? And you know, it depends what type of ammo you're shooting, how dirty it's getting. I'd say generally between 500 and 1000 rounds is where you start seeing some reduction in accuracy due to the muzzle device being dirty. That's mostly going to just be noticeable for like precision shooters. What if you're just shooting your AR at you know, 50 yards, 100 yards? It may affect accuracy a little bit, but you're not going to be getting like way off to the left shots or something like that. The idea is as long as those ports are open, you can kind of see through them. And this is a compensator. But as long as those ports aren't blocked, it's not really going to be affecting your shot all that much. Uh, theoretically, I mean, you could get away with just never cleaning them, <laughs> I guess. I like to keep it cleaned about whenever you're cleaning your barrel. Probably a good idea. Might as well just clean the muzzle brake as well. But I've been seeing a lot of videos and tutorials to clean muzzle devices where you have to take it off the barrel, soak it in some solution, you know, water with like some detergent or something, let it sit, go through all this process which if you're okay with doing that fine I've also seen a process where you're mixing hydrogen peroxide and distilled vinegar half and half and that creates parasitic acid now that's great for if you have like clunked on uh, lead and stuff like that in the barrel it will really break that stuff down the parasitic acid will dissolve the lead and not harm the finish of your muzzle device so and it works great I don't use that method because the breaking down of the lead with the parasitic acid is creating fumes and so now you got to do it outside in a well ventilated area. It takes hours, you basically just let it sit in there. Um, but then that liquid has dissolved lead all in it so you can't touch it. It's supposed to be disposed in a certain way, it's like a hazardous material now or something like that. I mean I'm sure people are just throwing it out back and then your dog goes and gets gets sick. So I don't do that method, it can work. I mean, it works great. Um, for hard built on lead though, I'd say try to heat the area up a little bit and just take a punch and hammer and like break that lead away. You could also use jacketed rounds, like copper jacketed rounds to really reduce any like lead buildup, stuff like that. But I wanted to just show how I clean my muzzle devices because with my method, I can leave it on the barrel. I mean, I've taken them off, but what if you use a crush washer to secure your muzzle device. Now you're going through, you gotta replace the crush washer every time you clean it. I mean, I'd rather clean the device while it's still on the rifle, right? Or maybe my muzzle brake's held on with a jam nut and it's torqued down to the right spec and I don't wanna deal with taking it on and off. Now, I like to start with a good gun cleaner. I'll use this M-Pro 7. It's actually a really good gun cleaner. And in fact, I'll put a link below to uh, all the stuff I use to clean a weapon, that'll include everything you'll see in this video, which is these picks. I like to use picks and some patches, and that way you get some cleaner on a patch, get it down into wherever you need to in the muzzle device. Now, this type of pick, it's got a big hook on it. That might not fit in some of your muzzle devices, but if you have a pick that's more straight or just a slight hook, you can really get further in there and get a lot more stuff out. A brush, and then a lot of these Q-tips come in very handy. Getting some cleaner onto the Q-tips and getting in there to scrub some of the buildup out. And I start by spraying some gun cleaner on there. You might see this is uh, was already wet before because it's not. it doesn't hurt to spray a bunch on and let it sit 15 minutes or so. I mean, just let it start working. And then you can go in and uh, I'll have a bunch of rags and just kind of, I like to clean the outside first. Try to get anything off. The outside just tends to stay relatively clean, to be honest. But then I want to get all inside on the muzzle device with a brush and try to get up any gunk and carbon. And you can see the brush coming back pretty dirty. Clean the gunk off the brush, spray some cleaner on it, and just keep doing this process until the brush comes out relatively clean, as clean as you'd like it. Also take these Q-tips, try to get into each port, 
see some of that carbon coming off already. Yeah, look at that. More cleaner. Try to get spray the cleaner directly into the ports. You can use a CLP. I'd prefer just a straight cleaner or even a bore cleaner. And then you want to get all the cleaner off along with all the gunk buildup, carbon, and junk that's in there. If you've got some tough buildup, take a patch, uh, get some cleaner on it, use your pick, and go ahead and you can scrape that out. And this can all be done with the device still on the rifle. I have this one taken off, but you'll keep doing that until your patch comes out relatively clean, as clean as you'd like. Yeah, look how bad these bristles are now. And you can just use a toothbrush or something instead. This device is actually a compensator shroud combination. You know, the threads, threads onto the barrel about here. And so this part covers the barrel and then we have the compensator at the end. I want to focus on each and every port. For this style of compensator, that's kind of a pain just with how many ports there are. But that's what you don't want getting gunked up. If some of these ports start being blocked, then you will notice, you know, all the gases are going to be exiting out this way. You'll see your, some muzzle movement. In that case, now it's not, compensator is meant to expel gases in all directions, this one anyway. And so it reduces muzzle movement, keeps your barrel uh, centered. Well, if a few bunch of ports are blocked on this side of it, you can see how expelling gases will push your muzzle, push your barrel out of alignment. Once you're happy with the color of the patches coming out or the Q-tip, I mean, it comes out a little gray. Maybe I could work on it a little longer, but I'm happy now that this is relatively clean. I got all the gunk out. And you may repeat the process where you're spraying more cleaner, going with new Q-tips, brushes, patches, until your patches and Q-tips are coming out as clean as you'd like them to be. And this process is the same with, uh, you know, muzzle brake. You focus on the ports, spray a bunch of cleaner, get all the carbon and gunk and buildup out of there. And again, this could have all been done with the device on the rifle. This is actually, this is how I do it most of the time. <laughs> I don't want to remove the muzzle device. This actually isn't held on with a crush washer or anything, but I can definitely see not wanting to go through crush washers and or retorquing your device down all the time. I think cleaning it on the rifle, you'll clean the muzzle device more often, which is always good and it's less of a hassle. I guess every few thousand rounds, I would recommend taking it all the way off and doing just a full cleaning. Hope this video could help you out. If it did, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Neck bone out.